so lovely to see you, Morgan. And you, Linda. Oh, gosh, I haven't seen your office for quite a while. Oh, is that a picture of your husband? Yes, it is. Uh, anyway, uh, Morgan, or is it Mo? Oh, oh either's fine. Brittany, Brit, she used to call me Mo. Ah, yes, Brittany. Such a shame we had to let her go. Global pandemics aren't always kind, are they? No, but she's got a new job. She walked at me yesterday. Oh, good. Working as a personal assistant. Lovely. I'm sure she was very good at that. Working in a bakery is good no, for no. work. Personal assistant, not a bakery. Oh, sorry. Well, whatever. Shall we get on? This is just a catch up, Morgan Mo. To see how our new scheme has gone, assess some results, that sort of thing. Obviously, deciding to move all our destinations and purely offer trips to Slough was quite a bold move. So before we delve into the facts and figures, I'd like to see how you found it. Oh, well, it's been lots of fun, obviously. Uh, love the challenge. Love a mm. challenge in general, really. But I have to say, I'm not sure how successful we've been. Well, obviously, we're based in Berkshire, so selling trips to visit Berkshire was a challenge, as the people were already there. I, I'm sure there was some high-level thinking that they're not aware of. Um, Absolutely. Maybe reintroducing a couple of other destinations might be helpful. One other. A summery place. Perhaps the Canary Islands. Or, or, or Italy. I, I even, I, I just think having a range of options might be a really positive move. Even if it were just Slough and Venice. One at home, one abroad. Hmm. See, this is what I like about you, Morgan. You've got imagination. You care about the work we do. I say to you, take everything off the table but slough, and you do it. Thank you. Yeah, it's such a shame we're going to have to let you go. What? Yes, I'm sorry. It's not been a good year financially, and the slough debacle, as John calls it, you do know John, don't you? The CEO? Yes, the CEO, John. Jono, as I call him. <laughs> but you shouldn't. Anyway, he's decided that the slow idea, which of course deeply thought through and constructed on rational good business sense, was frankly an utter disaster. Oh. Really, I don't know why you didn't question me on it when I gave you the new instructions. I think if you were a bit more with it, Morgan, I think you might have raised a couple of concerns that would have fed back to me. Really, I'm afraid this is your fault. So I've discussed that with John and he's agreed that sadly we are going to have to let you go. But this is scapegoating. I, I think they did what they told me to do, what you told me to do. I've never been anything other than dedicated to my job. That's what they said at Nuremberg. We have a duty, Morgan, in this world to question the sources around us. That's why America is in the state that it's in. No one's questioning their sources, analysing the situation, examining what's going on. It's all just being taken at face value. I'm worried about the future of our society, seeing as everyone is so happy to simply take instructions in blind faith. It's people like you, Mo, sadly, who are the downfall of our world. I hope I'm not straying into exaggeration here, but if the world ended tomorrow because of the blinkeredness of humanity, you alone, Morgan, would be responsible for quite a lot of it. What am I to do? Didn't you say that Bethany... Uh, Brittany! Yeah, well, whatever, joined a bakery. 
Perhaps you could do that too. I could see you pummeling out your petty frustrations on the world by kneading some dough, making some nice doughnuts. You wouldn't have to pass the subtleties of the modern working workplace in a bakery, would you? Mm, lovely. Anyway, I'm so glad that we have found this time to have a chat. Your P45 is in the post. We've sent someone to uh, clear away out your office while you're on this call. So you don't need to worry about coming back. You absolute bitch. <sighs> Temper, dear. It's been a pleasure working with you. I'm so sorry we've had to say goodbye.